Good morning, everybody. Ohayo gozaimasu. So, um, I woke up very early again today. I'm waking up um, quite early. Uh, this morning, it was at 5.45 a.m. that I was up. And I'm not sleepy at all. I think I fell asleep around 10.30 p.m. last night. Uh, yesterday, uh, Satoshi and I, we went for a very long walk. We walked from here all the way to Ginza via Shinjuku. Can you believe it? And so that was, um, I think, um, after the entire day when we got home, uh, we checked and we walked about 27,000 steps. 27,000 steps. But it felt good for me. Uh, for Satoshi, he's still sleeping because, um, yeah, he's not used to walking long distances like I am, but uh, it was really good. Obviously, today I'm going to go for another walk again. But um, check out the, the sunrise. <laughs> it's very rare, uh, or it used to be very rare for me to uh, see the sunrise. So yesterday, we went to uh, Ginza, and um, one of my favorite bakeries in town is City Bakery. Of course, um, it's a bakery from New York, but I love it. Sometimes I get cravings for um, New York style pastries. And since I've been walking a lot uh, this week, um, I figured I'll get um, something nice for breakfast and thought I'd have breakfast with you guys. Uh, so I made myself a cup of um, cafe au lait, decaf, of course. Um, I actually don't need any sort of caffeine. Um, I've been um, off regular coffee for the longest time. I don't even remember the last time I had normal coffee, but I have decaf. I, I have green tea, so that's that's my caffeine. I'll have some green tea later, but now um, I want to say cheers. Good morning to all of you guys with my decaf cafe au lait. <sighs> Delicious. Okay, so this is what I got. I got a, I think this one is called a breakfast roll, but it looks like a miniature cinnamon roll to me. It looks delicious. Look at all the flaky pastry here. And I got a pretzel croissant. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So that's actually one of my favorite things from that bakery. I also love their chocolate chip cookies. But anyway, I am hungry. Ohayou <laughs> gozaimasu. So, let's try the uh the breakfast roll i think it's called breakfast roll or breakfast muffin i don't quite remember breakfast pastry maybe i don't know itadakimasu mm. let's see should i just bite into it mm. oh wow satoshi would not like this a lot of cinnamon. It's almost like a cinnamon roll. Without the icing. Look at that. Now all the flaky pastry layers with the cinnamon inside. Oh, this is divine. Oh, I love this. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of like, um... It's a lot more flakier than a cinnamon bun, so I wouldn't say it's a cinnamon bun. It's like a cinnamon pastry, I guess. Please, look at that. All oh, layers. Mmm. That's yummy. Oh, shit. You know what we had for dinner last night? So we have a restaurant here. It's now a chain of restaurants here in Japan called Bubby's. This is also from New York. And they are uh, famous for their pies as well as their uh, <clears throat> American style comfort food. <clears throat> so at the moment they are selling chicken pot pies. And this is something that I've been missing for the longest time. It's very, very rare to find chicken pot pies here in Japan because, you know, obviously we're in Japan and, you know, chicken pot pies are not a thing here. 
anyway, so uh, we took out the food because obviously we, we don't really eat in restaurants at the moment. State of emergency and all. But you can take out. So we ordered for takeout. I also uh, got myself a slice of cherry pie. The cherry pie was just okay. It was very sour. But the chicken pot pie was so good. It was so good. It really, really was. I ate the whole thing. Reminded me of the yum yum tree. It was smaller than that. But it was just the right size. Just the right size. Because, you know, I had the pie for dessert. It was so good. And Satoshi had a gumbo. He had a gumbo for a meal. It was a pretty uh, substantial size of gumbo. And gumbo is another rare rarity here in, in Tokyo. And he actually liked it. He actually enjoyed it. So that's good. Very, very happy to say that he enjoyed the gumbo. Okay, let's try my uh, croissant. My pre my pretzel croissant. This is a big croissant. Not sure if I can eat all of this. But let's at least take a bite, shall we? Mmm, pretzel croissant. Yeah, it does look a little bit different from your normal croissant, does it? Mmm. 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 I do enjoy that. Mmm. There's a little bit of salt on the top. You know, like a pretzel usually does. Mmm. I really love bread. I do, you know. I like good bread. I um, used to like um, only like French style breads, like baguettes, croissants, um, panorazon. But um, I have come to enjoy all sorts of bread. I live in Japan, so usually the type of bread that you will find here are the soft breads, you know, the shokupan, the white bread. But I've come to really enjoy eating those as well. I know there, there isn't much nutritional value in these types of bread. But as Japanese do, um, you know, when, when, when they love something, they, many people dedicated, dedicate their whole lives to perfecting that one item. And that white item is shokupan or white bread. The white bread here in Japan is amazing. Not the ones you buy at the convenience store. Although those are pretty good too. The ones you buy from the bakery, they are just like so, so, it's perfection. White bread perfection. <laughs> so delicious. Like the softest yet there's some chewiness. You can actually taste the, the yeast or the wheat or whatever it is. You know, there's taste. It's not just eating air. I remember when I lived in Hawaii, and my mother would buy the 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 bread the the from Love's Bakery from the supermarket, and they were just, as far as I can remember, they didn't have much taste. Yeah, it was kind of dry too. I never really cared for bread crusts until uh, I came to Japan and I love the crust of the bread it's actually very delicious whereas the bread crust from the the normal um, sandwich bread in America things may have changed now I don't know but when I was a kid I really despised those crusts I didn't like them at all mm -mm. Oh, it's delicious delicious what a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning. You know, today, um, I've already planned my day out like I usually do. I love my days perfectly planned. Yeah, I, I'm not one of those where, I'm not one of those people where um, I have no plans whatsoever for the day. No, 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 no. I'm a planner. Yeah. So this morning, as soon as I finish eating this breakfast, I'm going to start filming. 
for Boksu because uh, this month's Boksu has arrived so we have to film that so I will start filming all the b-roll which usually takes me about 30-40 minutes while Satoshi's sleeping so no problem and then once he gets up we'll uh, finish filming the part where we talk and we actually try out the snacks and then right after that I'm gonna finish editing this video I'm gonna try to get everything done by a.m. before noon time comes and then, and then and then I'll have lunch with Satoshi and then after that I'm gonna go for my very long walk again <laughs> yeah so that's my plan and then tomorrow we have the live stream so it's Valentine's Day tomorrow Valentine's Day yeah it's hard to believe it's already February huh already February the middle of February Time flies so quickly, even during a pandemic. Hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to finish eating my breakfast. Um, I hope you had a good breakfast as well. And um, I'll see you in my next video.